As a true legend in the makeup world who sold her company for millions and the author of several best-selling books, Bobby Brown didn't have a lot to prove. But she's back in a big way with Jones Road, the new makeup company she founded with her husband. Meg Oliver spoke with both of them in their first TV interview and joins us now. Good morning, Meg. Dana, good morning to you. Jones Road is named after a street the couple passed in the Hamptons and liked how it sounded. And customers like what it represents as evidence by its loyal following. So I looked at my head of product and I said, oh my God, this is a friggin' miracle. This is how legendary Bobby Brown relaunched her career, social media. I always love learning new makeup techniques. Warm it up in your fingers, gently pat it. So that's all you need. Hi, what's your name? In January 2022, nearly 15 months after the makeup mogul started her new company, Jones Road. Will you tell my husband, I don't want diamonds, I want this. Her son Cody, head of marketing, pushed her to make a TikTok. And he said, all right, mom, go. And he pressed the button. Hey, guys, it's Bobby here. I'm new to TikTok. Tell me what you want to see from me. What it and two others were game changers, attracting more than 300 million views and quadrupling sales for the startup. We got bombarded, and I was so surprised because most of the women said, oh, my God, I'm so glad you're here. I'm 50. What do I do? I'm 60. What do I do? I'm 40. It was shocking. Bobby has been teaching four generations of women what to do when it comes to her infamous no makeup, makeup look. When did you know you wanted to get into makeup? When I was a kid deciding what college to go to, my mother asked me what I would do if I could do anything in the world, and I said I'd love to do makeup. After graduating with a degree in theatrical makeup, she started in the world of high fashion. In 1987, she fell in love with her soulmate, real estate developer Stephen Plofker. I remember I came home from dinner and I was up all night staring at the ceiling and I called my dad. I said, I, I just met the man I'm going to marry. Yeah, I just knew it. You just knew? I just knew it. How were you feeling when you first met Bobby? A little overwhelmed. I mean, something definitely out of the normal was happening. They were married within six months. A few years later in 1991, the couple launched the brand Bobby Brown, a palette of nude lipsticks that quickly shot her name to fame. Within four years, Estee Lauder bought the company for a reported $75 million, but Bobby retained creative control. You signed a 25-year non-compete clause. Mm -hmm. Any regrets about that? I have no regrets because there's no point in having regrets because what are you going to do with it? And honestly, we, the company, wouldn't have grown as big. I mean, I could say that I'm a founder of a billion-dollar brand, which it was when I left. How was it waiting out your non-compete? It was hard. I went and got a charm with the date that my non-compete was up. You know, to someone that doesn't have hobbies and isn't used to quiet time or reading in a chair, <laughs> it was tough. So I did a lot of things. My makeup philosophy is that I like it to be quick. I like it to be natural. During that time, she shot a master class, became a certified health coach, and renovated a mansion with Stephen into a boutique hotel, The George, in Montclair, New Jersey. It was a labor of love, but man, that was intense. And every room is different. Every room was different. The place was a total redo. And what I didn't say, he's not just the brains of the operation. He is the most creative, able to see things where other people can't, and he figures out how to get it done. But he, this is supposed to be about you. <laughs> they can edit it, but no, but it's like, but it's the truth. Then, on October 26, 2020, the couple launched Jones Road against the odds. It was a week before the presidential election, in the middle of the pandemic, in the middle of social unrest, and all of my big, powerful friends in PR said, don't do it. I engaged my neighbor to do the PR. We got great press, and it was off to the races. Off to the races with instant hits like Miracle Balm, a multitasking skin enhancer that sold out in weeks. How did you come up with Miracle Balm? It was a mistake. Really? It was, yeah. I had asked a lab to do something, and it came, and it was not what I wanted. I'm like, that's not what I wanted. But then I dipped my finger in it, and like I always do, I went like this and put it on my face, and I'm like, oh my God, I love this. From Miracle Balm and What the Foundation to Face Pencils, 
Jones Road is a collection of clean beauty products designed to be simple and easy to master. These are called Just the Sec. Okay. Because that's how long it takes. Okay, perfect. To put it on. And when it comes to her own self-care, it's no surprise. She also keeps it simple. How do you take care of yourself? I don't inject anything in myself, and I'm learning to, you know, find peace with the lines in my face. I just take good care of myself, and I try to be positive and upbeat. Parents to three sons, the couple's family has recently expanded. And I have two daughter-in-laws mm -hmm. and a granddaughter. Mm -hmm. Oh, my God. She's amazing. She's, like, delicious. Recently, Bobby posted a love letter to them. I happen to love the girls, and, you know, I'm trying really hard not to piss them off. <laughs> you did your one daughter-in-law's makeup for her wedding. I did both of their makeup both for the wedding. Them. Probably the scariest makeup jobs I've ever done. That's amazing. Besides Michelle Obama, that was scary too, but yeah. High pressure. That was high pressure, but you know, the daughter-in-laws, that was, I wanted to please them. This is good for an overall tint, a highlight, a blush. And it's that kindness that resonates on social media, colors. making her still seem like the girl next door, eager to help you look and feel better. At 65, what would you tell Bobby who was in her 30s? Oh my God, I would say you're not even gonna believe what's gonna happen, but I would say just get ready and be open and you just don't know what's coming your way. Jones Road is expanding with a third store opening in East Hampton one before Memorial Day and into other markets across the country in the next two years. I was talking to her last night and she was saying, you know, this is my second time around and I'm overwhelmed at the response to everything. And she wants to credit her husband who's been there the whole way but really doesn't get a lot of recognition. Not that he wants it, but. Credit to her though, I taking know. the chance and the risk. I love her, I wanna just hang out with her, by I the way. Me too. I just wanna hang out with She's her. She's so down to earth. They're lovely and they're just a, just a delight. Good for her, man. Good for her. Thanks, Mike. <laughs>